Hello everyone, welcome to TechTed again. In this tutorial, we will be learning data types in SQL. So, I think I need not to explain what is data type, we all understand. So, we have to understand what are the data types basically allowed in SQL. Okay. So, before we go and create database and store values in it, we have to understand what kind of values we can store. Okay. So, in this lecture, we will be learning all these kinds which we can store so this is basically a highly informative tutorial but for the sake of completion we have to learn this we have to note down the database uh, the data types which we can store and basically we need not to remember all I I also don't remember all of them except three four which I regularly use for example var care int okay so let's learn this one by one so the first one we will start with numeric data type so under numeric data type we have int as our first data type and int stores integer okay so it stores stores integer and what is the range it can store so it can store minus two one four seven four eight three six four eight I'm copying this value from my notebook two you need not to remember this okay so this is the range of integer which we can store in this data type okay the next one is small int so let's say I have to store small numbers then we need not to waste spaces by creating this integer data type okay so we can create small int again it will store integer but the range will be less so that is it can store 3 2, 7, 6, 8, 2, plus 3, 2, 7, 6, 7, fine. So if we have to store even small numbers, we can go for tiny int. So it is called tiny int. Again, it stores integer and it will store value, only positive value 0, 2, 255 similarly we also have bit data type so it stores one bit that is either 0 or 1 okay so it will store 0 or 1 so let's write it 0 to 1 fine we have another data type that is numeric and it stores precision specified by users and this is the range for numeric another data type is float which stores floating point numbers and it is it will store number minus 1.79 e plus 3082 this one so this is basically hexadecimal representation and we also have real number so real will again store floating point numbers and double precision for floating point numbers okay and the range is again much larger than this so that is minus three point so these are data type to store integers or numbers now we have other data types to store characters character data types so in character we have char okay so it stores mac maximum uh, 8000 characters but it will vary uh, from os to s os it will vary from I mean it will be machine dependent similarly we have varchar here varchar 
in worker we can specify even in character we can specify the number of characters to be stored in worker we can sp specify uh, the number of characters to be stored but in both the difference is like this one will use dynamic memory allo allocation okay and it will be more space wise efficient okay so and this will use static memory allocation okay but this will be faster okay because it uses static static memory allocation fine so which one we should use in a case when we need uh, when we know that the number of characters going to be stored in a particular field is this much that is we know the number of characters to be uh, going to be stored okay if the number of characters are fixed then we use char and if it is variable so let's say i'm storing comment by user so that comment may uh, vary from few characters to thousands of characters somebody can just write very good okay somebody can write a long comment so that will there where care will be a good idea because it will take less space fine so that's how we use where care we have another important data type that is date and time so under this we have first data type as date time date time fine so this one will store date time of course so this will store date in uh, this format for example january 31st 1984 something like this okay now we have another data type that is date so date will store date in like this january january 26 1988 time is a data type which stores time for example it will store like 12 30 pm something like this okay now the last one is most important and most widely used i always use this data type to store date time so that is timestamp timestamp basically combines date and time in form of numbers okay so it will combine date and time in form of numbers okay so this is most convenient to use basically what it does is uh, it was i guess january 1st january 1st 1970 okay so from january 1st 1970 it starts counting seconds okay so when you uh, see a timestamp value it will be something like 1 2 8 4 6 7 3 4 5 something like this will be stored okay and then it says number of seconds from January 1970 now with reference to this value which is called basically something unix unix starting point or something so from here it counts the number of seconds so from this reference you can determine what is the time it has stored okay so that's how timestamp works fine so this was all about data type now uh, maybe this lecture was quite boring but we have to understand it and mainly we have to remember integer data type which stores integer and in case of small integer we will use small int okay and float data type of course if we have to store big numbers then char and where char we just learned and this one timestamp okay so these are widely used Apart from it, uh, bit is also used. Others are also used depending upon the, you know, designer's choice. So that's that's all for this lecture. In next lecture, we will be learning data definition language. Okay. So hope to see you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.